Welcome guys. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at measures of dispersion for grouped data. So without wasting much time, let's take a question and see how to solve it. Now, given this group data, let's see how to calculate the variance and the standard deviation. So to do that, the first thing you're going to do is to create a new column. A new column for class mark. Which is X. Class mark is known as class midpoint. So to get a class midpoint for the various classes, we say so 1 plus 10 divided by 2, you get 5.5. When you go to the next class, 11 plus 20 divided by 2, you get 15.5. The next class, 21 plus 30, 51 divided by 2 is 25.5. The next class, 31 plus 40 is 71 divided by 2, you get 35.5. Then the last class, 41 plus 50 is 91 divided by 2, you get 45.5. Then the next thing you do is to create another column for Fx. That's frequency times the mark. So for the first one, the frequency is 2 and the mark is 5.5. So 2 times 5.5, you get 11. Then for the second class, 4 times 15.5, you get 62. For the third class, 3 times 25.5, you get 76.5. Then for this class, 8 times 35.5, you get 284. Then for the last class, 3 times 45.5, you get 136.5. So, so when you find sum of fx, sum of fx, you get 570. So this means that the mean, if it is population mean, you write mu. If it's sample mean, you, are, you write x bar. It's sum of fx divided by sum of f. So what is sum of fx? 570. And what is sum of f? 20. So 570 divided by 20, you get 28.5. Whether it is population mean or sample mean, you get same answer. But standard deviation and variance won't be like that. Now, the next thing we do is to find deviation square. Now to get deviation square, Deviation means x minus mean. So if the mean is mu, you write mu. If it is x bar, you write x bar. Okay. But let me use mu. Square. X minus the mean square. Okay. So to do this, our x here is 5.5. And mu stands for the mean or x bar. Okay. Which is 28.5. So you put into bracket 5.5 minus 28.5 and you square your answer. Okay. When you square it, you should get a positive answer, which is 529. Please put it in bracket before you add a square so that you can get a correct answer. Then the next one, 15.5 minus 28.5 in bracket square, you get 169. Then the next one, 25.5 minus 28.5 square, you get 9. Then the next one, 35.5 minus 28.5 all square, you get 49. And then the last one, 45.5 minus 28.5 all square, you get 289. 289, okay. And the next thing, you create another column for f x the next you create another column for f times deviation square f times deviation square so this is deviation square right so frequency f 2 times 529 you get 
1058. Then for the next class, 4 times 169, you get 676. Then for the next class, 3 times 9 is what? 27. Then for the next class, 8 times 49 is 392. And then for the last class, 3 times 289 is 867. Isn't it? Now, to find variance and standard deviation. Now, if the question is a population question, to find the variance, so the symbol is sigma square is equal to sum of f times deviation square divided by sum of f. Now, what is the sum of f times deviation square? This is f times deviation square. So when you sum everything, you get 3020. We substitute it here, 3020 divided by sum of f is 20. So 3020 divided by 20 will give us 151. Hence the population variance is 151. In case you want to find the population standard deviation, which is sigma. Population standard deviation is the square root of population variance. So what's our population variance? 151. So square root of 151 gives us 12.288. So this is the population variance and this is the population standard deviation. Now, if the question is a sample question, the sample variance is small letter s square will be sum of f times deviation. And this time around, you write it x bar. So, if the question was a sample question, you would have written x bar here. Okay. So, x bar square divided by sum of f minus 1. So, sum of f times deviation square is 3020 divided by sum of f which is 20 minus 1 so 3020 divided by 20 minus 1 will give us 158.947 so to get a sample standard deviation small letter s it is the square root of the sample variance which is square root of 158.947 so square root of 158.947 give us 12.607 so you have to be very careful you have to check the question if the question is a population or a sample question if it's population you use this to get the answer but if it's sample you use this the next video I'll show you how to use the calculator to compute the variance and the standard deviation. Thank you for watching.